The Amazulu Nation is in mourning yet again this afternoon. Regent Queen Manfombi Dlamini Zulu passed away yesterday. This just a month after she became regent following the death of Amazulu King Goodwill Zuelatini. For more on the way forward and the Queen's legacy, I'm joined by Professor Sihawo Kele Ngobane from the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Thanks for your time, Prof. We appreciate it. Let's start with the Queen's legacy and the role she played in the royal family. Thank you very much for inviting me. I think uh, we are, one must say that we are saddened uh, by the passing on unexpectedly of Her Majesty the Queen and my sincere condolences to the royal family. As you have uh, alluded to your first question, uh, her role was the role of a queen and all the responsibilities of the queen is what she really performed. And also one may say that as a, a, a queen, they have got a day-to-day -day, uh, responsibility in uh, capacitating the community around Nongom. And besides that, they also uh, partake in all the ceremonies where the, the king uh, presides. So, that was the main role of uh, the late uh, Queen Regent uh, Madombi Jamin Zulu. Yeah. So let's talk about the role she had and how much of a say she had when it actually came to who would take over the throne. Uh, according to the late king, his will stated that uh, he nominated uh, the, the, the queen to be a, a regent and a successor to the throne. So her main role was to appoint a, a new king that will get into the Zulu throne. So that was the main uh, responsibility that uh, um, she was tasked through the king's will. Yeah. So what's next now for the royal family and the Amazulu nation? Will someone have to take over this responsibility in the interim? In the interim, there is Prince uh, Mangosuchu uh, Bucheles, who is the uh, Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation, who is taking control in the interim. And in his own words, in his statement, he said there will be no leadership vacuum. I think their main focus at this point in time is to focus on the funeral arrangements, and thereafter they will have to call a meeting of the royal family to decide on the way forward. But I don't think there is any trans match uh, at the moment. You know, there are reports that there's a turbulent succession battle unfolding. What are you hearing? I'm hearing the same, but in all kingdoms, there will always be conflicts and struggles and contestations to us, the throne, because as you know, the king had uh, so many children, and all children, some of them are eligible to, to, to take over, but the, the will would had specified that Wakangela residents, since uh, Pre Queen Mantombi is the great wife, and she is the third wife who was supposed to, to, to bear an heir. So I think this, this is the direction that the will pointed at the Kwakangela Mankengan residence where uh, Mantombi is the, the, the great wife. Yeah, but I mean, could this now delay the process and when we'll hear whether someone else will take over the throne? Because how long does it normally take for this to happen generally? You see, it's very unfortunate that they are still mourning. You remember that after the passing on of the late king, uh, the family is more in mourning for three months. So this uh, incident happened when they were already in mourning. So I think what will happen, they will have to proceed with the funeral, and thereafter they need to take a decision what will happen next, because uh, nothing much can happen because already they are in mourning. But what the, the, the prince has said, that there will be no vacuum, I think they must consider the, the, that statement that 
the, 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 the speed up the process after the funeral. So at the moment, I think we need to give them space and respect their privacy uh, to conclude the, 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 the funeral. And thereafter, I think things will move a bit uh, quicker because already they are in mourning. And, and just another thing that we saw reports where Mangosutu Butulezi, the prince, was saying that there were rumors that the queen was poisoned. I mean, obviously that's being dismissed by the royal family. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm qualified to enter in that because uh, if it came from him, I think he's got a, an information that most of us as out, outsiders do not have. We can't, we can't confirm uh, that is true or not yeah, I guess uh, the truth. The reason I'm asking you is because you agreed that it was a turbulent succession battle. Um, and that, of course, is something that's being raised because of those rumors about this battle and how it's unfolding. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, where I stand, uh, I know that uh, the Queen was not well for the past two years or so. So... Anything may lead to, to her demise, but I, I can't say exactly what really happened unless uh, the insiders know exactly what happened, yeah. if there was poison or not. So uh, I don't want to involve myself in that uh, debate. All right.